I'm in here introducing Grayson Jordan, principal at Paul Castrucci Architects, who will be presenting the Bethany Terrace Project, another Buildings of Excellence project. Hello, my name is Grayson Jordan. I'm the principal architect of Paul A. Castrucci Architects. We're a full service architecture and sustainability consulting firm lower, located in the Lower East Side of New York City. Uh, we specialize in affordable housing and also in passive house buildings. I'm here to talk today about how to deliver passive house affordable housing using the modular project delivery method. Let's start with the why. Why do we care about affordable housing? It's critically needed. Uh, New York is a city of 8.5 million people with less than 400,000 affordable housing units. Uh, so we need to preserve existing affordable housing and we need to build new affordable housing. At the same time, we know that buildings in New York City they account for nearly two thirds of all of the carbon emissions in the city. So on the one hand, we have to build uh, and preserve, but on the other hand, we need to do that in a way that's actually not increasing carbon emissions, both embodied and operational, but actually driving it down. So deeply energy efficient, um, low embodied carbon, new construction and preservation. Lastly, we are always looking to make places, not just new affordable housing, not just energy efficient, but wonderful places to live, places people want to be, places of connection filled with light that are comfortable. Um, and so we have a lot that we're trying to accomplish often with limited budgets. So we need to explore new ways of building uh, to get more value out of each project. Brings us to Bethany Senior, a 60 unit affordable housing for seniors building that we're in the construction phase of in Brooklyn, New York. We're doing this with our with the developer, Riseboro Community Partnership one of the leaders of affordable housing and passive house in New York that brought us on the project. And very early in the project, we sort of mutually said, you know, modular is something that seems to make sense for this typology. Let's jump in with two feet and figure out how this works. Uh, just to note, when we're talking about modular, we're talking about three dimensional boxes that are built off site, uh, shipped to the site and stacked up uh, almost like uh, little Legos on site. This is opposed to uh, something else that our firm and many other firms are doing, which is prefabricated wall panels. Uh, also uh, heavily encouraged uh, exploring this avenue, uh, but this prefabricated wall panels is more putting panels on uh, superstructures are built on site. Today, we're talking about three-dimensional modular. Um, when we think about modular, uh, the first thing is we would want to know is how is this going to affect our design process? Uh, and it has, you know, we have to think about it things a little bit differently. First of all, we have to think about transportation and staging. We're seeing here a delivered box, a modular box. So first thing you need to know is, well, how are we gonna get this box from the factory, in this case in Pennsylvania to New York City? We're gonna map out all the routes. We're gonna look at uh, bridges, tunnels, any obstructions, and that's gonna help shape what each mod looks like. Um, then at the building planning stage, we're looking for hyper-rational layouts. We're looking for repeatable, um, very efficient layouts. Um, this can lead to some, if you don't do it right, some, some sort of formal stagnation. So we have to take these very rational units and lay them out in creative ways. But, but with modular, it's very important to stay hyper-rational in your layout. We're also going to look at our MEPs quite differently. We're gonna completely build all of our plumbing and mechanicals in the units and then put all the risers on the corridor so they can be easily connected in the field. Uh, this is quite different from traditional construction. And finally, we know that um, design isn't just technical, a series of technical decisions, we care a lot about conceptual and aesthetic response. And here we're really leaning into the modular nature of this and imagining the building as a block of modular where we, we take one block at a time from the south uh, side of the building, create these dynamic terraces for indoor outdoor connections, um, places for uh, residents of the building to enjoy outside, but also be connected to the amenities on the inside. Here's a, a, a rendering of that same condition, uh, creating a diversity of places for connection, but also for private relaxation. Um, moving now to the construction side, how is modular different in construction? And uh, the, the answer is it's quite different. Um, first of all, we're building this offsite in a factory and an assembly line. Uh, here we're seeing uh, this is the first step, which is a building the platforms for the uh, superstructure. Um, this will then be moved down the assembly line where it will become a three-dimensional box. So imagine a six-sided, we'll build six platforms, floor, roof, four sides. 
We start to fill these in with stud construction. Then we layer in all the rest that goes in the building. Again, sort of on an assembly line approach. Uh, we're gonna put all of our insulation, all of our, um, all of our electric, all of our plumbing inside and build it actually uh, in these units and then follow up with finishes. Um, one thing to note, uh, quality control. Quality control is important on any project, uh, especially with new partners. I think modular gives us greater ability to quality control. We can do this all inside. Here we're looking at a very important detail for uh, Passive House, which is the window detail. And we did this a few times. You can see we've done a, a pull-up test on the bottom left, and we had this detail redone until we got the adhesion that we wanted. Um, finally, uh, one thing to note, in this modular construction, these units are nearly done in the factory. So we're looking at finished apartments, finished floors, finished ceilings, kitchen cabinets, plumbing, almost everything except for the appliances, which are shipped loose so they don't rattle around during shipping. Um, and this is done in the factory and then shipped to site and stacked up. So we're gonna stack these up. We start with the foundation. The foundation is done while we're building uh, the mods in the factory. And we'll get these stacked up from nothing, just the foundation up to a four story 60 unit building in two weeks. And so that's gonna be 60 units of fully completed uh, apartments uh, stacked up in two weeks. Um, there's a little bit of work. There's there's a bit of work to do after we get after after this is said. As you can see, there's quite a bit of exterior work. So all of the exterior air barrier uh, and insulation and finish systems happens after the stacking. And then, as we noted before, there's quite a bit of sort of connecting mod to mod of your sprinkler, your plumbing, your electric systems uh, in the corridors, and the corridor then has to be finished. And then, as I noted before, there's some ship loose items such as the appliances that we're seeing here and uh, if we have in this case very large light fixtures that we don't want swinging around those will be installed in the field as well um to summarize in, you know this is our first modular project i think it, it, in, in many ways it's a good success we learned a lot of lessons i think this is a, a strong way of building that we should be doing more of and we should be sharing our lessons learned uh, because I think that that this is a way, especially in affordable housing with reduced budgets, to get really exceptional buildings, passive house level performance at 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 the same cost or even reduced cost um, and and increased quality. So I want to thank everyone there. Uh, I've gone a little over my slide uh, time, but thank you for your time. Thanks, Grayson. That was wonderful. Uh, so again, so many different project types, so many different solutions. Love seeing the prefab.